Hi, Mike here. Um, with no eyes. Put all the lights on, it looks really dark. Is that better? I am fucking doing it. I'm doing that all the time. Let's see if I can get a bit of light. That's better. Um, it's a video response to um, Wes's Transformers Universe wish list. Uh, along those lines. <coughs> First of all, Wes, thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. I'm now on 30. Getting there. And, um, sorry, I'm thirsty. I did want to, um, I was going to post a comment, but I thought, nah, I'll do my own. So, um, I think the volume's alright on this. <coughs> <coughs> what would I like to see in the, um, next universe line? Well, there's a couple that I agree with you on, um, a G1 Jazz would be good. Um, a G1 inspired, more articulate Ultra Magnus. Not, you know, one that you can move his legs with. Probably in the same fashion, the Prime Truck, and then adding on the um, armor, but, you know, able to move. A bit like the TFCon thing that they released where they had the old Ultra Magnus, the Optimus Prime, and the other one. Nemesis, I think. Yeah, Nemesis Prime, I think it was. Um, tracks is a great idea. I'd love to have a tracks. Well, they could probably. Do you know what I want one A human alliance tracks with Raul as his little driver. That'd be cool. Um, yeah, I'm not upstairs in the bedroom now. I'm downstairs, so I'm, I'm fidgeting a bit. Um, yeah, there's all some good ideas there. Um, I don't mind repaint so much. I mean, I'd like tracks to be, um, with tracks being a flying car, it'd need his own mould, I think. They can't just take the prowl up, excuse me, Silver Street mould, and add a couple of flappy wings on it, just wouldn't work. Um, let's see. Um, I'm going to go out a bit on a limb here and say that some of the um, toys I'd like to see reissued in the Universe line probably haven't even, well, I know, they've never been released by Hasbro. Takara exclusives, G1 Takara exclusives at that, from the um, 80s Takara series. Headmasters, Victory and Super God Master Force. Now, some of these guys were released by Hasbro, um, the Headmasters, the Godmasters as Power Masters, Jinrai, Optimus Prime, you know. But, you know, an upgraded, like Wes sort of like said it, upgraded Power Masters, better Power Masters, um, kind of like fall into the God Master category. Um, upgrade the Head Masters with more articulate bodies. I don't mind if they have the same heads, but with more articulate bodies. Um, you know, ones that are recognisable, but maybe have some that aren't recognisable, because I know they share the licensing and stuff. How, why don't they reissue, remould the Star Saber? No, I don't mean the silly little mini consort, I mean an actual Star Saber. You know, the Autobot Supreme Commander, the Ultimate and kick in Transformers Victory. But again, like I said, with the um, Ultra Magnus thing, Make the transformation similar. Make him a Cybertronian jet. Make him transform. Make, keep him as a Brain Master. As a Cybertronian jet. With the V-Star detachable. The V-Star becoming the big body. Pretty much the same, but just make it more articulate. The same with Victory Leo. Release Victory Leo, then you can make a universe Victory Saber that can actually move around quite a lot instead of just, what's done here. Plus, um, from a father's perspective, it had helped me a lot because I can't really afford to go out and spend £153, that's I think what Victor Leo is currently at on eBay. And the Multiforce, um, if you haven't heard of the Multiforce then um, they're basically, uh, they're like mint, what they're called, fucking hell, those things from 
MicroMasters. Um, MicroMasters, that you get six of them, they form three different robots, well, six robots, six vehicles, but they can all combine with each other to form one larger robot, then they can all combine to form Landcross, a six robot Gestalt, Gestalt, however it's pronounced. I've only read it, I've not heard it. Um, you got Wing Waver, Dash Tacker and Mac Tackle. And you got Wing Waver, Dash Tacker, Mac Tackle. And um, if, you, if you know about this, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to, um, you know, explain. And um, you can mix them about, like, there's one episode in Victory which focuses on these, and it's called Mac and Tackle, and they actually become Tackle Mac. The top can become the bottom, and so on. It's, it's a bit weird saying, oh, I'm going to go on top next time we fight. Gay. But, um, yeah, they could do something like reissue some of the uh, Multiforce. That would be good. Reissue more Brain Masters. The Breast Force would be a good one. More Articulate Breast Force members. Desarus, um, you know, Leo Zack, fucking Kill Bison, Jarugar, um, Hellbat, Guyhawk, I think that's all of them. Pretty sure I've missed one out. Drill on. And they all form Lyo Kaiser. Reissue them, remold them. Make them more articulate for today's generations and stuff that like. I mean, one of the reasons I haven't bought any G1s is be actual G1s is because of lack of articulation. I have said in my um, getting to know a Transformers fan or you know, in questions for Transformers collectors, posability ain't an issue. But I'm 25 years old and I love to play with my Transformers. I do all manner of stupid shit. I make, well, you know, I make stories and I um, film them. And, you know, it's not just when I'm making Transformers a soap or anything like that. I do play with them off camera, off screen. And um, I like them to be articulate. I like to move them about and put them in fighting positions and stuff. And I like to do that. So that's why I got Prowl and Silver Streak and Sunstreaker and blah blah Sideswipe from the um because they're G one characters but articulate G one characters and that's what I like about the um universe line. Yeah, some of them are shit, but what can you do? Nothing's perfect. So yeah, that's my thoughts on it. Bring in some lesser known ones that would be more reasonably reasonably priced and more articulate and you know oh and while we're at it reissue primus it's just a fucking bomb now to buy isn't it I don't know anyway this is Mike out